Okay, stand by. Quiet on set. Settle. Sound speed, camera speed, mark it. Mark it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> ah! yeah. Tina! I was waiting for action. Is action! Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that went well. <laughs> Let's hope that doesn't bode for the food. <laughs> Welcome but to the Curly Cooks of Croydon Oscars good. special. Yeah, what were you going to say? I can't remember. <laughs> I've, got te your I've got tequila brain. Uh. She looks really good for how, how, how hungover you must Espresso be. martini, tequila, Ooh, champagne. Oh, you didn't have an espresso. And a margarita. Oh, Dina. Is it a big night? It was an afternoon oh, soiree. Big afternoon. Afternoon soiree. It was yeah. an afternoon, but oh, I didn't mix. No, Well, I'm scared about this. After my performance last Saturday, uh -huh. which I cannot get over, I made the most dreadful plate of food I've ever seen mm -hmm. uh, recorded. I still would like that video to be taken down, but here we are. So today I'm trying to redeem myself. Yeah. Uh, so because it's the Oscars, Mark had, had the idea, the brainstorm. He said, why don't we do Oscar special? Yeah. Fortunately, he said it at nine o'clock this morning, so everything we were going to do, we had to change. So <laughs> that, is, that is why this is going to be a miracle show. It's yeah. going to be a bit of a miracle if it all goes right. So um, we've got popcorn, we've got champagne, we've got but donuts. Yeah. The stage favourites cookbook. Isn't that fabulous? And we can go back and yeah. forth to that through the 400 British American continental actresses have contributed to this. Look at that. Yeah. And funny enough, the first one I opened on this morning was by somebody called Dina. And, oh, and, yeah, because yeah. quite a lot of American actresses are called Dina. Yeah. Dina. Yeah. Dina. Do you know where you got your name from? Yes. Where? A princess. Yeah, Ooh. so Prince, King Abdullah of Jordan's mother King is called Dina. No, a Prince Abdullah, King Abdullah. Oh, King Abdullah's, yeah. So his mother was English and they renamed her Dina. Yeah. So the King of Jordan is half English. And um, they love the name called Dina, Dina. Oh. She's my sister, if you're wondering why I know Where's the red carpet? Well, we have, don't show the floor, never mind a red carpet. We haven't swept it. I can see there's a receipt on the floor. And don't show the washing up. Okay. <laughs> so I, um, so I am going to cook. It's, it's, we've changed it all because it was, because it was the Oscars. So I'd already ordered a Hawksmoor steak. Dina was at a party recently where they served this. She said everyone went nuts about Mad. it. Obviously, we've been to the restaurant, the Hawksmoor, and the steak was lovely. So I thought um, I would get one. Now, it was th it's usually £39. Whoa. What? Pounds. Whoa. £39, pounds, but it's an Oscar special. Flipping noise. So, so, so that's why I bought it. And it's a T-bone steak, and, but I got it for 23 I think, Good. in a cardo. So I wanted to do a complete unboxing of it, which... Is silly really because it's much better to get the steak out out of the box out of the packaging put it in the fridge uh they say for a minimum of 12 hours so look it's terribly fancy it just comes in its own but it's all don't you find going into Hawksmoor is a little bit like entering a cult yeah i've been there the, for about 10 years no, well, no you won't have been here <laughs> but you go through you go through the curtains yeah it's a bit yes weird. i remember that yeah it's a bit weird and they don't want to talk to you it's a bit weird <laughs> and i'm going to just Let's just have a look at what on earth this says, because it costs 36 quid, so let's have a look. I thought it was 29. Well, I got it, I got it reduced on Ocado. So, oh, apparently there's a film here that shows you how to do it, but don't worry, you need, don't need to watch that, otherwise we send well, you video. Yeah. Like, didn't you ask me when Dina was sending people to the BBC website. I suppose this is a way of taking the edge off the fact that they've, it's a slab of meat, right? So it's T-bone steak, right? What does that and mean? When they say T-bone, what does that mean? Well, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. don't need to say anything. I have to say, Aldi do a marvellous one. My boys love a T-bone. And how much is that? Well, it's about 12 Well, no, but that's, that's great. That's great. You well, know, what is good about a T-bone? We would never buy this. I just I think bought... it's very flavoursome because you've got the bone in there. Ah, the bone yeah. is the flavour, doesn't it? So we would never pay this for a steak at home. But I just thought, let's do just something a bit fancy. How much is it in the restaurant? Oh, dear. Do you want to say something? I think it's quite small. Take it. Um, Mine's going to get smaller. Yeah. They always get it's smaller. Not, it's not thick. No. But you know, the thing about this is, it's 35 day aged, isn't it? It's a beautiful piece of meat. The beef will have been, the cattle would have been treated very well. Very good, Melissa, to feed four people. 
Yes. You're looking at a steep amount of money. No, but you're not going to each have one of them. No, I love the way Chi Chi's bang on scene. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't miss a trick. Baby, this was 39 <laughs> quid. Chi Chi, well done. Well, no, it wasn't. It was 23. But there you go. So, you know, you want to get it out. You want it at room temperature, your steak. And you want to um, have it nice and dry. Can you put those two on for me, Dina? Um, because you don't want it to steam. Room temperature is really important for steak. Don't get it straight out of the fridge because you, um, it, it, what happens is, I've, talked, I've said this before, but we need to repeat it because there'll be new people here. You, that one is a nice one. Hang on. I like your sort of waistcoat. So you, oh, thank you, darling. You, um, because what happens is if you put cold meat into a hot pan, the fibres go like this and then you get a tough meat. So it's really important. I mean, Hawksmoor say rest it once you've cooked it for as long as you cooked it. So if you took eight minutes, rest it for eight minutes. Okay. So they also say not to put any oil on this. Well, it's got a lot of fat, hasn't it? That's so you what let they all say. the fat So come is this out. an Oscar steak? It's this called is... an Oscar steak. Oh, yeah. that's the name. So the first thing is, we've got a very flash steak, right? But the Oscar steak is, I am going to be making a hollandaise sauce. Uh. Ooh. It's then going to have some shallots because it's posh, because it's the Oscars, some tarragon and some crab meat. And it's so posh, this steak. Asparagus and where are the prawns? Why is it called an Oscar steak? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, but there's so much of it online. It's oh. like, obviously, oh. it's a big American thing. Oh, they look good. And they will be then on the top. So it's going to oh. with some tiny little homemade fried chips, so it's going to be delicious. Wow. So Dina, just explain to them what you're going to be doing while I I'm this up. going to be dedicating my dish to Killian Murphy. Killian! <coughs> um, Killian! Who's up? So I'm using... Who's up for the Oscar? Up for well, Oscar. Yeah, Oscar. 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 yeah. Um, but I'm just using basic Irish ingredients, since Killian is from Ireland. That's handy. Um, but I'm going to give it a little bit of a twist, because that's what I do. And I'm going to do a bit of fusion, so I'm going to make it with all sort of Arabic things, <coughs> really. So the Irish have been right behind um, Palestine, Palestine when we've been at the marches. Um, so they are there in, in their yeah. in their thousands, in their millions, and right from the very first, right from the very beginning, they've been very supportive. So I thought this was a really nice idea yeah, yeah, to yeah. fuse together a little bit of Palestinian. You and, know, and you Irish. thought it was a nice idea. I said I thought it was a nice idea. Your idea. Hmm. I thought your idea was a nice idea. But I'm using, this isn't beef. She's using a really great steak and I'm using, <laughs> this isn't beef mince. And which it's going to kill her because though which, she's vegan, she loves steak. The, the, um, I have done this on the show before, but some, some of you messaged me and said that Linda McCartney's frozen one is very good as well. So I'll try that next time. Um, I'm also going to make some potato files, but again with an Arabic twist. Oh, really? Never made those, so... I'll just ask you, it's a bit random, but are you a fan of Yoko Ono? No. no. Just, okay, let's say into that, that's done. <laughs> Moving what? on. Yeah. She's got a massive exhibition at Tate Modern. I'm just a bit depressed that uh, I think the leading they gallery has been dedicated to Yoko Ono. Is it photos? I don't know what it is. But I think we should go and take a look because in my new era of not trying to yes. judge so quickly, yes. yeah. who knows? She might be great. So mm. we're going to go look. <laughs> well, I'm going to put my steak on. Yeah. And then I think we're going back to you, all, aren't we? We can, yep. Yeah. So. Right, I'm go I would not do a steak this way, but I'm doing what Hawksmoor tell me, which is no seasoning and no oil, okay? Well, Zoe's asking, what's the drink of choice today? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you have enough yesterday? Water. <laughs> Water. She's got a hangover. Go for so, it. So they say not to put any oil on the steak, so what you do first is just oh. let that fat cook. A, you want that crispy, don't you? So when you're eating it, will come out of it. Yeah. yeah, also to cook. So that's just going to cook like that. Um, has anybody ever bought this from the supermarket? No, Does no, it, is this a regular it. treat? Well, it might be somebody here that can afford it. How can you say that? I just find that offensive. Yeah, that kind of money. Uh, I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't buy this. You know, and also these restaurants that sell, sell make your own kits for like. Two hundred quid. Tom Kitt. Oh, you mean? Yeah. I mean, he seems to be everything he makes and serves. So expensive. Seems but there's all those other expensive. things like nacho kits and stuff like that. If you buy all that stuff separately, it's half the price. So put it in a box and call it a kit. Yeah. Yeah. But 
you know, if you want to do something really special, and I mean, I'm assuming this is cheaper than in the restaurant. Well, we never... she's having the same with eight quid steak, to be honest. <laughs> well, we'll try. Uh, if the funny thing is, if we try it, Mark, and it's blooming delicious, <laughs> everyone's going to be like, okay, so I just want to get that nice and crisp first because obviously once it's lined up see it's fairly thin i don't think it's going to take that long to cook clean the it says it's cheaper than eating out so it's got to be acceptable yeah 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 i mean if you're yeah. having this and you're splitting between two i mean the price of restaurants these days is scary yeah i mean they say there's a drop in people going out they're to really massive. People but listen when i'm out they're all full yeah. well that's london dina Okay, so now we've got that. Do you think I should crisp that a bit more? The food served in nearly all every restaurant I've been in is cheap. Well, That's the thing is, we, we can cook it better. Exactly. I mean, I know it's a nightmare for you girls, but yeah. flipping out. It's why we sit there with the faces like slapped up so yeah. in restaurants. It's like, this is boring shit, cold and horrible, <laughs> not a lot of it. Right. I'm going to put the steak on now because we've got that crispy lifty. And we've, got the, and, selling. and we've got the fat from the steak. Wow. So maybe it's Mark, there's more that in, so it's not... What Gina said, right, and I would not recommend this, if this gets too noisy, I've got the oven on the hot, and I'll pop it in the oven to cook it. Pardon? <laughs> Is it too noisy? I can't hear anything. Can you ask them? It's fine. Is that too noisy for you guys? Can you turn the steak being cooked in here? So I've got um, a meat softening in olive oil. Um, so, we, do we eat a lot of leeks in Ireland? I don't know. I know they're very well. I can um, eat the tuna. Granny has said it's fine. Uh, Bill Broad says it looks lovely in the green chair. Thanks, Mark. Match um, the leeks. Yeah. I really like it when you have some colour on. Don't you think, Mark, as well? Yeah, you always wear black and colour suits you. I okay. like a nice ribeye, someone said. Yeah. <laughs> I hate steak with fat or bone. Do you? Well, this one's not for you, matey. <laughs> Right, so nice. into this, two cloves of garlic. So I don't think there's any garlic in Irish food, as far as I know, but this is where twist number one and two comes in, because first of all, it's cooked in olive oil, and secondly, garlic going into that. Absolutely delicious. Now, I do eat this cabbage dish twice a week, not necessarily with the, with the meat. Um, and it is absolutely delicious. Cabbage is such a wonderful food. Um, unfortunately, I've got a white cabbage here, which I'm not keen on. I like a sweet pointed. Now, this has to go in. Yeah, it's very, it's very meat-like. Look at that. It's so meat-like. Yeah. Mm, not good. I think it's that. I think the onions and garlic are right. Right. Yeah. I'm going to turn it over because Mark will like this rare. Oh, oh, careful! Don't splat you. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Have you timed that? No, I don't need to. Oh, it gives good instructions for a th You can use a thermometer probe to get it just right. Oh, look. That's lovely. That is lovely. Look at that. So I want to cook that until that's browned a bit. And now I'm going to add my Arabic spices. So I'm going to add a teaspoon of allspice and a teaspoon of sumac just to give it a bit of colour a teaspoon of allspice and a teaspoon of, no, I'll have two teaspoons of sumac I think I'm and going to heat this to stop the noise yep. and let it finish cooking with just that heat that's not the way to okay. do it this is not ready I and want some compliments actually for the steak yeah. <laughs> that looks amazing and that was a nice little shimmy of cayenne in there. Nice. Um, so I don't know. Irish stew. What are the flavourings in an Irish stew? Such as the vegetables. Um, just be quiet a minute. I just want to get a sizzle for Instagram. Right. Very nice. <laughs> oh. Thank you. <laughs> right, so can that go somewhere now? It's bloody really annoying. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, I'll turn it off. Okay, so I put two teaspoons of sumac in there. I want it a bit redder. I'm going to add another one. So it's a sumac, a lemony, sort of, got no heat in it. It's just got a tang. It gives a lovely tang. You can add it to all vegetables, all salads. 
anything with a bit of colour is going to be good for your gut. Good for you. Um, eat cayenne is good for you. Look at that meat. I'm just so impressed by the consistency of it. It just looks so like meat. I know. And then to that. And the Oscar's going to. The steak, I think. Right, I'm going to add my cabbage now. Don't, you know, go for a sweet pointed rather than this one. So it's got some nice green. I actually want white cabbage. What it's for. What is that? Okay. And that's just going to cook down a little bit. Um, I'm going to add some white pepper. Now that's the Irish bit in it. I think. There's the cayenne and... Like Faith Goodman says, just saw online that you should cut onions along with the fibres to make it sweeter and softer. Do you and Eddie agree, or is it rubbish? The what? The onions? Cut along the fibres of onions to make it sweeter. So go with the grain you get. Oh, how yeah. interesting. Yeah, yeah. I've never heard of that before. It's definitely the easiest way to cook onions. Yeah. Yeah. Does it go into defence mode? I think yeah. it does. It's like meat. I think it sees it. You know, apparently the quality of meat depends on the conditions in which the animal was killed, apparently. Oh, well, but it's like, you know, yeah. we're talking about grating carrots. It does send the, send the carrot into a bit of trauma, yeah. apparently. Yeah. Well, we could use often a carrot in trauma. Very nice. Yeah. Call yourself a vegan <laughs> and you're laughing you about a carrot in trauma. Oh, it's a bit of shame for They've oh oh proven that they're sentient beings. <laughs> oh, She's enjoying herself here. Yeah. Right, am I carrying on for Yes, it? carry on. Okay, so... We're going to make this, uh, this, so basically remember, we're going to have the steak, then we're going to have this crab and uh, shallot and tarragon and hollandaise sauce on top and then prawns, if you can believe it. Never wow, made, that's never so made indulgent, this isn't it? Very indulgent, very Oscar worthy. So um, I'm dedicating this to Emma Stone. Is that because to win? she is up for Best Actress. Mm. Yeah. I haven't yet seen the film, but all I've heard is amazing things, and I love her. I love her as an actress, I love her as a person, so I'm doing the steak. She's a Hollywood actress, so she probably won't eat the chips, but they do eat a lot of steak out there, don't they, for their bodies. So I'm dedicating this to her. Yeah, Who I would you dedicate a dish to, Mark? She likes Brussels. A Just a little bit of garlic, not too much. Mark, who would you dedicate? Who's your favourite? Who who would you like to do a dish for? What, for, from this year's nominees? Mm. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of the film. I, I really like Paul Giametti, who's, who's in uh, The Holdovers, where he plays a, a teacher who looks after kids at a boarding school in the 70s. I, I personally didn't like it. Lots of people love it. I really want to see that film. But, but what I loved was when he won an award, I think he won an Emmy or, a, uh, or, a, or something, or Golden Globe, he went to the uh, he went to the local burger, the fast food burger chain, and just sat with his Emmy on the table, his Golden Globe on the table. Um, I forget the name of the I forget the name. You know, what's that? It's what's that burger? In and Out Burger. In and Out Burger. That's it. It's funny, isn't it? So I'd like to make him a burger. Oh, it's funny how many um, more and more nowadays we're seeing after the Oscars and these big events, celebrities sat somewhere stuffing their face yes. with something like burgers. Well, we should have done in and out Burger in today. And, out um, and that's because, you know, more often than not, they've been on incredibly tough exercise regimes and, you know, nothing that can possibly bloat them so they can get into their dress and all of that. And they're literally starving afterwards. I think the two awards that are the most obvious. Well, I, 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 Kelly Murphy's definitely Is it it's definitely? A Guess what? I have not seen one of the films that are in the Oscars. But don't say it like that. I, <laughs> I haven't been to the cinema this year just, at all. Well, most of them came out last year. Yeah, well, they yeah, didn't go last Barbie, year. Barbie's in there. Barbie's the only one I went to. Yeah, Isn't that awful? Yeah. Right, now I've turned the heat off and I'm just going to add some crab meat. Um, just yeah. so it warms yeah. through. We don't want it super hot, just want it warm. Oh okay. no, you've got to heat it properly. What am I talking about? You can't half eat fish. Poison you. So we're going to heat that all the way through. Also, Paul, I would recommend the zone of interest. It's a very tough one. What's that about? Um, this is the film about the... Uh, it's very bleak, but it's about the... It's a portrait of the family that live alongside Auschwitz, but it's all done in sound. 
and the producers, uh, I was really pleased that the producers, may, uh, the BAFTAs when it won Best Picture, said that it speaks to the ways in which everyone, all, you know, in Israel, everywhere, people sitting alongside controlled and terrible conditions of, of a people, you know, how we just can turn the other cheek and not see this stuff. So it yeah. challenges the idea of how horror can happen and be permitted to yep. happen. So basically, um, it's all set in a house just down the road, isn't it? No, next From, door. Oh, right next door, so they're in the garden. It's true. But everything's true. going on. Oh, it's horrible. True story. Yeah, true. Story. It's the, the head of Auschwitz just lived in a house next door. Right, so that we've got to make sure that's heated through. I don't know what I was saying earlier. But the rumour mill is that the voters, and we've had experience of the voters, the, the chatter coming out is that it could win Best Picture. There's a huge push for it. To win best picture. Is that the one that's all in German? Yes. Oh. Right, okay, so we're going to make our hollandaise sauce now, and I'm doing it a different way than I've done it before. What Dina said, why are you doing that when you were so rubbish last week? <laughs> and I was like, I don't know. I suppose it's because the other way of doing hollandaise sauce, which I have done and does work, but it is much trickier. So I said, I, I want to do it easier for people, and she went, yeah, but you'll probably mess it up. So be prepared. So this is a much easier way of doing hollandaise sauce. In a mixer, you can use a stick blender if you prefer. So you separate your eggs. I'm going to make some meringue with that later because our youngest loves meringue. And she sent me such a lovely message yesterday, didn't she, Dina? For yeah. International Women's Day. And because she's not usually like that, she doesn't really effuse, does she? Out of nowhere it came, made me cry. It was so beautiful what she said. It was just mm, lovely. Anyway, so three egg yolks into the blender. You can also put this, if you've got a stick blender, you can put it in a jug. Right, I'm going to put my um, butter into the microwave. You need the butter hot, not warm. I've got half a cup, American cup of butter. So that's not the amount once it's, that's not the raw. You want half a cup of melted butter, not half a cup of butter melted. See? The other way around. Right. <laughs> so you can go back there. The boring microwave. Oh this my god. Out. So that's just a stir fry cabbage. That looks and lovely. honestly, it takes it to another level. It really nice. does. Um, now, so the gut, lovely gut lady Hannah Richards, that's been talking to us both about our guts and our diets wants me to think about having a quarter of a third of a plate of protein a third of carbohydrate and a third of fat so carbohydrate is not just rice and potato it comes in yeah, vegetable fish. form as yeah. well and this is a lovely it's just i literally eat half a cabbage at a time I, I can sometimes eat a whole pointed cabbage and with that it's delicious it's mm. spicy it's zingy it's just just takes cabbage and that mints to another level okay guys so I've got three egg yolks, just to go back. This is the hollandaise sauce that our crab and tarragon and all of that is going to go into. I'm putting in a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. English mustard wouldn't work. I'm putting a tablespoon of lemon juice. Cheryl Jones, I'm with you. Love the plop of the yolks. Mm, <laughs> so nice, isn't it? Uh, good sprinkle of salt. And Let's get this sun flare shot. Sorry. Yeah. That's good. Oh, God, Go it's going to show yeah. up my bloody thing. Oh, yeah. Sun flare. And once that's mixed, you want to pour in your butter in a steady stream. Till it thickens. Yellow. Wow. Because I, I buy good eggs. Don't want it that yellow, really, do we? On top of the steak. Oh, stop. Stop. <laughs> Let's see if it worked, Dina. Oh, lovely. Gorgeous, but it's too yellow. Tastes delicious. Because so the egg yolks were <coughs> there. Delicious. 
and much easier than doing it on a broiler. A little bit more salt. I wonder what drama will happen tonight, though. There's always a drama, isn't there? Like Will Smith. Yeah. Slapping old what's his face. And them announcing the wrong film was best picture. Do you remember that? Oh, oh my yeah. God. That was awful. <laughs> you imagine. Can you imagine? That? Oh, and I've got all that lovely juice coming out now. So I'm going to put. Because they didn't want me to salt it, first of all, did they? Who? So I put some salt. Hawksmoor. Oh, yes. They didn't want that. Well, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm salt it now, they say. I usually salt it as soon as I put it and in. And the charm number says add some herbs. We're going to, because we've got tarragon. Tarragon. Just pop that back there. Staying warm, resting beautifully. Mix the light. Dina, oh, can you do me a favour and really dry my chips? Oh. Drain. <laughs> She's stuffing her face over there. I love a the shallot. They're mm. such a lovely shape. Eating my cabbage, it's so lovely. Some of the shallots we saw in Rome were stunning. So that's nice and hot now. The mm. crabs, so we're going to pick them. We're going to pop some tarragon. Let me just clear this off a little bit. It's the Oscars tomorrow night, Gorney. Shall I have a chat whilst you clean the back of the shop? Yes, please. Mm. It's the Oscars tomorrow night, guys and gals. Uh, uh, we're going to be certainly watching the red carpet. So I'm going to be trying to con Nadia and hopefully she'll pass out and then I'll be able to carry on watching them. And maybe we could even go live on Instagram and uh, have a chat. I don't personally think, I think, I don't think there's going to be any massive, massive surprises, if I'm honest. Um, but uh, it's, it's more a case of whether um, Oppenheimer or the zone of interest win Best Picture. Barbie has been kind of muscled out. And I know that's really upset a lot of people because, um, you know, it was a moment. It was a big moment. And apparently, I didn't realise this, Christopher Nolan still refuses to really acknowledge the whole Barbenheimer thing. I mean, which is weird. Whereas Killian Murphy has been very lighthearted about the whole thing. You know, it was a, it was a great moment oh, for cinema. Oh, um, what's happened? Oh, God, the prawns. Oh, prawns. <laughs> prawns are on the floor. But anyway, like, prawn hub. I have had a haircut, actually. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, so anyway, so we will be doing the Oscars. Uh, there's lots of... Go and check out um, our Popcorn Junkies uh, Instagram. There's going to be lots of... Oh, they've gone. <laughs> oh, there's one in there. How did they get in there? <laughs> he leapt in there. Did he's it up. Oh. He's up those bits. Um, okay, so is that really dry yet? Yes, miss. So we're just going to chop some tarragon. Somebody asked me yesterday, who's the bossy one? Dina. No, they think I am, but she is. Oh, my God. She's well bossy. God. Mark. Well, I know what Dina means. Hang on. Watch yourself, Mark. What well, you see, Dina, case in point. <laughs> she always goes, ah! She always talks yeah. over you. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Leave it. It's your way or the highway, has to be said. So there goes some tarragon. Gonna let that sit. Oh, I love tarragon. Oh, so, sorry, just explain. This is going on top of the steak. Yeah, yeah. it's wow. really. So turf and surf. Yeah, yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I don't want those prawns in there. Why have I put them in there? Oh, here we go. Oh, who, who put these here? Um, marshmallow. The Oscar, I hate marshmallows. The Oscar really fairy. Oh, do you? I hate them. Oh, you're really going to be hate making them. something with I've them. I've never understood why people like them. Not even toasted. Not really. I mean, I always pretend I do because everyone's having such a good time when they're having them. You don't want to be a killjoy. Okay? Yeah, yeah I know what you mean. Like, oh, yeah, God. he's really funny about certain things. I, can you get me some more paper, Dean? Especially when they're playing guitar, smoking a big fat joint. There's marshmallows <laughs> coming out, and you're like, oh god. You like popcorn? Uh, not really. Mm. Not a massive popcorn. I used to be a huge fan of the butter kiss. Butter kiss, butter kiss, rah, rah, rah. Yeah, butter kiss, butter kiss. Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Dina, you know what we've forgotten? Pearl and Dina. Yeah. <laughs> so we were going to make Emma Stone's favourite snack. She has it every day. Oh, yeah. What is it? Is, and it's a really good snack to have. We have it all the time, don't we, Dina? Mm. Slices of apple with peanut butter on. Mid-afternoon snack. Delicious. Now that peanut butter sandwich. In apple slices. Mm. Delicious. Delicious. Oh, I yeah, like a sandwich. Yeah. We didn't get to do it. Okay, so we didn't use it. Right, we're either. So the, you go back over there, please. Oh. take a couple of minutes. Stop the popcorn now. Oh, what's the drinky drinky? Right, the drinky drinky. I'm Is not going to drink it. Whispering Angel? No, I'm not going to drink it. We have had it before, but if you can get it for some Mother's Day, it's a champagne alternative. Okay, $8.99, 9 dollars in Aldi. Cremant Cremant de Jura, which is it's made exactly like champagne, but it's not made in the champagne region. But it tastes exactly like... Apparently it's like illegal it. to call something champagne if it's not... Yeah, it? that's the same about things like Wesley Dale cheese and stuff like that is as well. It? 
Something he's got. Do you think it's the same about Croydon slappers? <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Lordy. Right, I'm going to make potato falls. Never oh, made them before. Fantastic. So I might in there. Stop you halfway oh. through. Oh, so oh, you you match. You more. match your chopping board almost. Yeah. yeah. Difficult. Okay. Uh, so get on with your chips. Then. Yeah. Get, get, if you get me a plate with some kitchen paper. So I've done those nice and nice and skinny. I saw somebody the other day. Do you remember? Has anyone seen where you can get, you know those crisps that were really thin? Matchsticks, they're called. Cool. Where Match can sticks. we get them? Matchsticks. Matchsticks. We bought them yeah. the other day. You have to buy no, them in... Uh, no, you bought chip sticks. You have to buy them in sort of really cute little <coughs> confectioners. Not in the supermarket, they have them. Oh, I reckon we'll be a corner room. shop in Grimsby. On my head, so yeah. Grimsby. Grimsby. I love Grimsby, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little of my... Hollandaise sauce, and look how easy that was like that, Dina. Look, Mark. Yeah. I'll make you an eggs benedict tomorrow if you want. And just mix wow, that yeah. in. Zoe Agnew says corner shops have them. French fries, they're called. Uh, no. Yeah, they could be. Yeah, and they're so sort of covered in salt, it sticks all over your fingers. Yeah, yeah. well, I saw somebody the other day put use those on top of the steak, and I thought, what a clever idea. Nice. So that, we're just warming that slightly through, because I've let it get cold now. So that's the hollandaise sauce with the crab. This is insane, this recipe, Dina. Yes, yeah, isn't it? It's bonkers. Lisa Lou 212 says, Co living at the supermarket. Ah! Oh, really? Oh, I fancy going down oh, this Oh, yeah. Can you get me some, Dina? Because yeah. I want to do this shrimp burger thing. And I want those chips. We've got brilliant Polish shop in Stresser. Um, I hate the way that supermarkets do their own versions. They're not really the same thing. Why don't they still make Ringo's? Uh, Ringos are the onion rings. Yeah, but they've got a shiny, sheeny finish. They used to in the <laughs> 70s, didn't they? They were like chipsticks. They were a bit Dana, could you rough. move that out the way for me? Thanks. Right. I'm mesmerised by the French fries. Yes. I cut Look them by my hand, my bare hand. Did you? Yeah. No. She's got a really greasy machine. Where'd you get that machine, Dina? I've yeah. got it. Oh, wait for it. Wait for it. At the ideal home show. Oh, oh God, here we go. It was one of those gadgets. I've got three gadgets from the ideal home show that are all brilliant. But surely they sell them somewhere else. I don't know, it's fabulous. I mean, the only dud thing I've ever bought is that stuff where they clean a black pan. You know, they go, the pan's completely black and they go, shh. Oh, yeah. And it's oh, silver. God. And I was like, I'll have four tubs of that, please. Got hands. Absolute rubbish. Really? Absolutely didn't do anything. What were they doing differently? Well, they had, what somebody said to me, they put oil so that you could just swipe it off like that. It was all set what? up. It was Bastards. all set up. Yeah. Bastards! If anyone's going to the ideal home this year, yeah. don't buy any cleaners. Yeah. God, I've never known chips take so long to go brown. It's They'll go in a, in a flash though, won't they? It's like spermatozoans. They'll, They'll suddenly go. They'll suddenly go. And then you'll be screaming and crying. Yeah. Potatoes right. were a failure last week, so they can't be this week. I know. So there's our Hawksmoor steak. We've salted it up now. She is totally redeeming herself today. That is some almighty dish, Mark, you have got coming up. I'm looking forward to this. Got to eat every bit of it. I'm going to eat it with. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to eat it. <laughs> I like this. Yeah, I'm just going to eat it. Okay. So then we put next, we put this. What? Which is our hollandaise, oh, crab, yeah. shallot, yeah. tarragon, insane, surf and turf. Yeah. Crab, Oscar I special. I think my mum would like it. Oh, yeah, my mum would as well. What, what is it about that age group that loves crab? Love I wonder sandwiches. if it ever tastes as good or whether it's one of those things where it's a memory. Yeah. yeah. You know I what I mean? Crab in their days tasted brilliantly. Or, Whereas, or, or, just... or it was that they didn't get a lot of tasty things. Yes. So that seemed incredibly tasty. I remember someone on the Taste My Life talking about the first time they saw a banana. They didn't stop talking for at least 15 minutes. Really? Uh -huh. I think it might be too small. Right, so on the top, there's the prawns. Well, Elsa Pop, you find up what's been a sad week, I find Mother's Day hard ten years without me. Oh, sweetie. I know. Be good to yourself this weekend. Do something for you, really kind for you. <laughs> yeah. Because your mum would like that. Mum's like it when they... Oh, 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 no. What, what, what? what? Forgot my asparagus was oh, so Oh, that's so important. Oh, sauce. Quickly shove it in the microwave. No, shove I've it cooked in. it. I've cooked it. I just haven't put it on. Oh, I see it goes under the prawn, does it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's all right. Yeah. 
That's not that tragic. No, it's supposed to go under the sauce, but we're not telling them that. Oh, I know, you wouldn't want it under the sauce. Yeah, because you want to see it, don't you? It's a bit of green. Oh, yeah, you see, that's right, isn't it? Yeah. That looks Yellow, nice. green, pink. Now, of course, nobody nobody pre-Oscars is going to have the chips with it. That was my own I thing. I bet Mark Ruffalo would. Not one recipe has got chips with it. But I thought, this is for after the Oscars. Emma, if you're watching, because I have dedicated this to you, Emma, um, you can have this. Take your dress off, put your gym jams on, and have it with chips. Oh, now look at those. Wow. Oh, I'm going to make these for Maddie later. She will love these. I need my gadget. Yeah, I need that. You've got to give me that gadget. No way. How often do you use it? A lot. Ada just did a saucy wink. <laughs> well, what make is it? I can go on bloody line and fight. It won't only sell it look. in that Ooh. ideal home. It's already in my bag to go home before she can snap a little way. Oh, God. Oh, let's get the steak out here. So look at this, guys. What do we want? And lots, salt. lots of crunchy. Oh, does somebody want me to try that chip? I can try those. Oh, oh my god, they are so good. Mm. Where should I put them on the plate, Gina? Wow. They are nice, aren't they? Siobhan Jordan says redemption. Yeah, massively. I've eh? redeemed myself. I was really nervous this morning. Wasn't I? Granny Scarlett says I love Dina protecting her property from the cops. I'm still like, waiting for your staple remover. Oh, it's yeah. A, it's a problem. She's got a problem. It's, it Who's got a problem? Me? With gadgets? No, 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 no. It, with your stapler, when you staple things. Oh. Mm. She accepts that detail. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 I saw that literally land in the <laughs> yes box. Mm. Eat it, says Trina Cotton. Oh, my God. Dawny Harvey says they sound perfect, them chips. No chips. Oh, the best chips. That was a Maris Piper potato. Oh, lovely. Yeah. I love a Maris Piper. Oh, lovely. So what do we think? Should I put another bit of sauce there for people? Yes. No. no. No, no, in a jug. Yes. In a jug, yeah. No. Right, okay. Chat right, while she's doing that. Okay. So let's try and make these potato so, files. So, so what's a farl? Farl is a potato bread, I think. Okay. Um, so in here I've got 500 grams of um, Maris Pipers with a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder and 50 grams of my plant butter. Like that. Oh, my Jan says Maris Pipers are the best. They are. And then to that, 50 all grams of flour. So it becomes like a, a potato. It's a potato bread, isn't it? Yes. Lovely. Pisa Lou 212. Yes, the best fluffy potato. Oh, oh that's... And this will. this is supposed to be a really fluffy potato cake. And now to give my Arabic zhuzhness, I'm going to add zutta. Zutta is um, an Arabic thyme. A bit lemony. Oregano. Yeah, a bit lemony with the sesame seeds. Delicious. So Can my dad my dad has um, every morning zutta on his plate with olive oil and bread. So I thought, oh, let's just combine it. This is a bread. Ooh, this would be nice. lovely. It smells delicious. That herbiness is divine with some chives in there as well. Mum, if you're say, watching, I want to... Show us your gadget. No. Oh. Yeah, I'll get it out in a minute. It's Mum, if you're bit. watching, I, I want to cry because oh. you would love this so much. I wish you were here. The chips, when you come back, Betty, you can just have bowls and bowls of those I'm chips. I'm going to make loads of these chips. Trina Cotton says, I've now got za'atar in my herb board. Thanks. Oh. oh. That, again, on oven-roasted vegetables... Um, salads, it just gives Bread. it, it just lifts everything. You need to launch your own zatter. So do I. You should be the face of zatter. I think so. We've grown up with it every single day, my daddy. Betty's just it. posted, I'm already crying. Betty, <laughs> Betty, whatever you want when you get back. Yeah. Mum, these chips. Mum, look, I'm going to eat this for you, look, Mum. Oh, so good, and they're so dainty. Do it, cry, cry whilst doing it. Like, no, I've got it. Do it like you're accepting an Oscar. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Well done. So now I'm going to make my little triangles. I'm so excited. I can't find the jug that I want. So that's it. That's the finished product. Get it down there. Get it set down for the gram. It's that's making the gram today. I think, thank finally, I think that might be an all-time winner. 
What's the Oscar music? Is there Oscar music? Hooray for Hollywood! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like that. It just looks bloody beautiful. Eh? It just looks You've bloody beautiful. You've redeemed yourself a week. Well done, now. lads. Thank God. You did it. I think it's the waistcoat. I bet everyone's dying for me to try the steak. I'm yeah, go on, do it while I'm going to gonna section up my files. Ooh, section up your files. <laughs> okay, let's see if Mark, Mark, give me an emotion. You're the director, give me an emotion. Let's and, do a bit of Oscars. Uh, anticipation. And just sheer unbridled anticipation. But what could be? What's coming at you? Well, that's it. it. Now another oh, one. Do, don't, we don't go <laughs> on and on. Just give me emotions. Oh, you want another one? Total despair. Hunger. That's not very really hunger. Hunger for me. <laughs> oh. Hang on, you didn't let me do a hunger for you. Oh, my God. Dear Lord. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> Disorientation. <laughs> that's, that's just normal. That's you, bro. That's you, we can go. One last one. Um, total, total spiritual exhaustion. Spiritual exhaustion? And now I want you to do this, which Brother Maddie had to do, which is you now have to be a T-bone steak. Be a table, ice cream cone. Every day for a week we would have to be a table. A T-bone steak. Um... Not, not physically. Not physically. Oh, feel like it. Yeah. Be, oh, be okay. <laughs> yeah, I get that. That's good. I'll take that. But wait, that was very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, human manifestation of a T-bone. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Top draw. Uh, oh, look. So there they are. It was as easy as that. Fish bosh, rolled them out, cut it into eight, and fried in a little bit of vegan butter and olive oil. I'm going to stop believing your cookies because it all happens off camera with Dina. So, <laughs> Dina, so <laughs> Mark, do you want to try a bit of steak? Yes, please. I'll, I'll film Mark dinner and if you just get this a bit so he can do his popcorn. Yeah. Oh, can I have the prawn as well? I mean, I love the prawn. Yeah, Mind you, I'm going to have, have to then wash my fingers, which is painful. No, you don't. You can just have every... No, we call I'm... them potato cakes, says Siobhan Jordan. OK. Zoe is screaming, will someone eat the steak? <laughs> <laughs> Zoe, what time is it? I'm it's getting happening. in there. It's happening. Popcorn, says Ali. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Yummy yum yum. I've just the steak without any of the sauce, so we know what the actual quality of the steak is like, so. Oh, he likes it rare. I like it so rare, so careful, they might get a bit squeamish. Not that bad. Good. It's tasty. Is it? Oh, yeah. And there's a real back end kick to that. There's yeah. a. Right, let me get around the other side of the I'm now, now going to go. I can't for... see you, okay. okay. I'm going to go for some with the Hollandaise. I, even I'm, I mean, I'm a crab fan, but I'm a bit thrown by the idea of crab. With steak. In a hollandaise. Yeah, no, let's see weird. what this is like. It might go wrong. Can you taste it? Can you taste the crab? Not really. It's very salty. It's lovely in a good way. It's, it's really... It's salty. It's giving it a nice dip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really nice. It's like when you use... Um, uh, what's Let's it? Get a load of that. It's a bit More fishy. Of that. Anchovy. Yeah. Anchovies in that pasta, but you don't taste the anchovy. Oh yeah, I'm getting the crab there. I must admit the cow isn't happy. Oh, interesting. It's weird. It, 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 it's tugging against each other. Well, it's just very American. They do put Let's lots of flavours together, don't they? Well, they say you should. <laughs> oh, no. Betty! Betty! Oh my God, let's just get as many of them on there. Well, I'll take the mm. sauce off and have the steak. Mm, oh, right. where's the steak? Yeah. I'll rinse it off. <laughs> um, oh my god, that's so tasty. Yeah, we always say, don't we, that um, mm. we always say that the a, a lot of American dishes put lots of different flavours together. Because they've got no idea who they are. Sorry to all our American oh, to our American visitors. No, it's true. But there's lots of different influences. Yeah. So we Same did here. go, oh crap. But when you have what's that pasta dish when we put the anchovies in? Put yeah, this, yeah, I like that. You don't taste the anchovies. Hang Please on. here. Good morning, honey. I'm just reversing on that decision actually. 
because I just had a big bit without it. And fuck off, Hawksmoor. Really? If that's your state for Mark, 30... Mark, don't say Sorry. that's too much. No, but no, what I've discovered is actually inadvertently it's your source that's making it lovely. Oh. Oh. Yeah. On its own, I'm not getting anything. Really? Now, I wonder if that's because I didn't agree with them about not, not, not seasoning it when you cook it. Mm. Mm. But does it taste meaty? Well, of course it does. It's meaty. <laughs> but I mean, it, I mean I, look, I'm not going to be able to tell you any... If that was six pounds, I wouldn't yeah, know. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not sitting there. But going, you're trying to say you're saying bloody hell, this has blown my brains out. Yes. So it's, it's so it tastes delicious, but it's if you didn't know the price, you'd just be going, Oh, this is delicious. You'd but you're saying for 39 quid it's not. You'd have to be the mother of this cow to know that it was special. Mm. That's all I'm saying. Not moved by it. Oh, I don't want to let go of those chips. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You're about those those chips. chips. I'm gonna make those lots. So I'm just going to have the bit of the steak on its own to see about... It looks lovely. It's not that it's not lovely, but within the, oh. the, stick within the realm of steak. Oh. What marks that as worthy of the price? Butter tender. It really is. I think it suffers for not being seasoned when it's cooked. I love it with your sauce. I actually like the sauce. Because you want the seasoning. But yeah, don't I forget you did I need the seasoning. You didn't get it out of the packet 12 hours before, blah, 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 blah. Mm. But you shouldn't have to do that to make a steak. Kaz Rowley says, I've had great steaks at Hawksmoor, but £39 to cook yourself is steep. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just insane. We're not going to do it again. But. Well, perhaps I'll get you an Aldi one next time I'm in there and you mm. can try that. Mm. Let's try an Aldi next An week, Aldi maybe. one with a nice Irish mm. whiskey sauce. Mm. Mm. He, he's not leaving those chips. Mm. Oh, so good. Mm. So, sorry. These are lovely. Oh, they've also cooked off camera. <laughs> <laughs> they, these are lovely, and I've just tried one. But yeah. I have to say, without the zutter, everything off camera. Without the zutter and without the chives, I don't know whether I would really like them. Oh, well, that's like saying anything about any recipe. No, because that's a traditional recipe. Potato files are a potato cake. Oh, a traditional recipe. So you're saying yours is much better? I like it because it's got some oomph um, um, in it. But it probably goes with very strong other flavours usually. No? Yeah, I think you can have that with like um, mm. butter and jam or you that can have it That is really, really nice with the zutter. Isn't it? That is delicious. God, Mum, Dad would love that. He would. Because he loves mashed potatoes. He does. They look fabulous, this face. Yeah, they and do. And his favourite thing. Fresh. Thank you, face. So, should we set up Mark? Yeah, set him up. Set, set him, him up. up. Set, set him, him up. up. Set, set him up. up. Shut it up. <laughs> <laughs> Is he going to make the popcorn first? <laughs> or is he just going to use this popcorn? Sorry, Tim. No, he's going to make the popcorn. Oh. I'm just showing him getting one. Oh, making popcorn. What, I'm chucking it in a pot? Yeah. Hey, I love that. It always sounds so fun, doesn't it? Yeah. Actually, I, I can, I'm going to have to just come back on this, guys. I was totally wrong about the sauce. Oh. The sauce really gives it a sort of three-dimensionality. Wow. The, just on its own, I'm afraid, unless you were some kind of weird, whacked-out aficionado, you wouldn't know that that was a different no, steak to anything. Happened you know, here, Mark, what has think... happened? You had it without the sauce, you really liked it. No, I had it on that side though. Yeah, so you really liked it. Yeah. Then you had it with the sauce. Yeah. Then you came back and said you didn't like it anymore. Because That's right. Because you didn't have the sauce, but the steak is a beautiful steak. It's you've taken, you've, tasty. it's almost got its own narrative arc, isn't yes, it? Yes, we've been me on a journey. It. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a kind of best adapted screenplay <laughs> nomination coming in <laughs> for my eating of the, uh, of the steak. Okay. okay, so am I turning back around? Yeah. Okay, right. some more in the fridge as well. So, we've got the oil heating. So, first of all, make the popcorn. Oh, brilliant. And, and don't put loads. You just put enough to cover the bottom of the pan. I've heard that said. Huh? <laughs> 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 don't you hit my sister's no. bum with the rolling pin. <laughs> I like that rolling pin. <laughs> Grenine uh, Scarlet says thanks for Grania, the Grania, Grania. for the detailed um, steak critique. Mark. 
for me. Oh. Detail steak routine. Faith. Always a pleasure, never a chore. It wasn't Faith. That was Grognier. Sorry, Grognier. Always a pleasure, never a chore. <laughs> Is that enough, do you think? It has to go to the bottom. Just cover the bottom. I have Not covered. two layers. Uh, okay. Save some for me, says Lee. And Lee loves a Hawksmoor. Loves a what? Hawksmoor. He loves it. Hawksmoor steak. I love it when they get going, Dina. <laughs> Each popcorn is like an Don't individual you. thought. Okay. Oh. You're like a thought in your eye. Oh, uh, you wish you were. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that. Yeah. She was going to tell you, though. Yeah. Go on. Put the lid on. Oh. <laughs> no, I like to, no, I like to take it to the edge. I like to know when the first one goes. Okay. Has anyone ever had a really bad injury from popcorn? Um... We won't say who, but one of our Oh, so Elsa Pop and Faith Goodman saying the steak from Costco is fantastic. Costco. I told you you got to get a membership. You remember, you know, Spoonerisms? Michelle one, says one of our girls used to put the work the wrong way around. Pop the cork. <laughs> We'd go to the cinema and she'd always say, can I get some cock porn? <laughs> it's on no. ITV this year, Trina. So, I've got my shield of... Is that on full wax? I don't know, ages. babe. These, it's all so tedious, isn't it? Is that the brand new bag of it? Yeah. So, Dina, explain to Mark what he's going to be doing. Yeah, so once I've... Right. Oh, this I makes mean... me laugh. Butterfly Bell just said, Dina will end up giving you the flipper foot, Mark. <laughs> Good. So come with you I have, have learned really, really well. I have to be really, really honest with you. This <laughs> shit. I know. I don't know why. What I think happened I've lost that day? I think you've lost it. I've lost flexibility. Yeah, no, it's right She used to be able to get right under. She'd have got your nappies in those days. Yeah. yeah. Maybe so it's because you, you need a bit more. Yeah, you see, like this. It needs to go like that. So it goes like this. Sure. Yeah, it needs to be part. loose. It's, it's a lovely. Flip. It's a lovely looseness. Right, yeah. Mark. Stop, stop, stop. Um, thinking your your buttocks. Stop. Stop tightening. what? Let, let your buttocks go loose. Right. Oh. <laughs> let your buttocks go loose. Oh. No, no, no. While Dean is kicking them. Oh. Well, this is Not it's it's the Put the lid on the popcorn. I want to catch them. Deep, Mark. Do it. Because it's annoying, it really hurts when it hits your hot Does it? Before. Yes. Boiling oil. Right. Okay. Dina. Yes. Step. He's going to un, un clench un -clench. the Unclench. I think he's clenching. Each buttock. Kiss, Karma. Rishi right. Sunak. No, so you need to go in the middle. I'm Two going cheeks in the middle. of the same backside. Right, I'm going to go with your foot then. I want to see it flip. Right. Really? It goes flip. like that. Flip. Okay. So am I flip. supposed to be nonchalantly doing something? Yeah. Right, stay still. Yeah. Loose buttons. Stop moving. Oh, no, he just tightened them. No. Oh, yes. Mark, you're, she got you there. I no. was on wobble. I was on <laughs> She got you. No, I must admit, um, my foot is still very flexible. It's not got the same. Oh. oh. No. Now stop it. Jesus. That is hot, Mark. And it's too high, you're going to get burnt popcorn in a minute. Turn it off. You're probably going to look fine now just with that. We never look neat. Okay, so what am I doing now? I don't know. Right, so you're going to melt the butter with the sugar. In a pan. In a pan. <sighs> hey! Okay, let's get that off so I can see you here. Careful. Put it here. Right, so melt the butter and sugar. What, on the big one? Yeah, that's well, that's Hansel's bit this one, isn't it? Yeah, that's from the last time you burnt the popcorn. Where? <laughs> Me? Well, you having a laugh? I'll take that from that pan, that's black. <laughs> oh! Oh, 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 oh. Right, hang on, put it back. Oh. Right, get on with it. Oh, okay, well, okay, so I've got that. And I'm going to chuck that in. I'm going to melt that. How is everyone this morning? Um, I've seen, I think I've seen all the Oscar contenders. I think... Uh, so tell us some of the winners. I think Davine Joy Randolph, I hope, wins Best Love Supporting her. Actress. You know, the woman from The Idol. Yeah. She's so, she's so funny. She's she won the funny. BAFTA. Do you want to put it on this Yeah, yeah. Um, she won the BAFTA. But she also won the Golden Globe. Um, I hope, I hope Killian wins. I, I don't know. I just found Oppen... I don't know if anyone agrees. I just found Oppenheimer boring. Is it it's too long? It's not that it's, well, it's interesting. It's beautifully made. You can't, you can't escape that. But it just didn't have the human engagement. And Downey Jr. is good. Killian's... They're all very good. It's like one of those weird films where everything about it is good. But it didn't, it didn't, like it didn't it. get me in the way that, I have to say, poor things really did. I mean, as an all-round experience... That's the Emma Stone one. I have not laughed so hard in the cinema in a long time. I was pissing myself laughing. 
from the beginning of Paul's. You have to be able to tolerate, even though there's sex in it, it's kind of comedic. It's, it's, it's surreal, it's weird. Can you bear comedic sex, Tina? No. No? <laughs> Have you ever laughed whilst having sex, Dina? Like hysterically? Such a long time ago. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's not a great thing when, when you're doing it, someone starts to laugh and say Has that happened to you a lot, Mark? No, they, no, it hasn't. <laughs> Does anyone believe him? <laughs> well, um, why have you brought this up? Well, because I do, well, because sometimes people can laugh as a response. In, a <laughs> in fact, it has happened. So now you're going to add. Um, the marshmallow. <laughs> Moving us on. <laughs> Lee just said, how are you feeling today, Dina? I'm feeling amazing. How about you? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I had a picante champagne. Because someone told me what I'm doing. Tequila lime and soda, champagne, tequila lime and soda, espresso martini. Are there, and margarita. I wouldn't be able to get out of bed. So what am I doing What's now? What's going in there, Dina, now? Uh, the marshmallows. Oh, are they? Oh, you've got to get them all in that bag. Why oh, is that so funny? Yeah. Because <laughs> it Put is. Them here. What is, the, is it off the heat now, Dean? No, because he's got to melt them. Oh, my God. What kind of smell that's burning? Oh, I see. It's very small. That's what you mean. That is funny. <laughs> uh, I can see why you're laughing in a mean, sort of vicious, evil way. Oh, and they're all coming out, and that makes you laugh too, doesn't it? So, would you. Do you have you ever laughed at a man's willy? Um, no, we had a big conversation the other day about this with my friend. Did you? <laughs> oh, Did you? What about oh my friend Fran, she's well, she's not. Careful. Dina, careful. Carefully. Oh, Don't yeah. reveal people's secrets. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So not so <laughs> apart from Fran, when you were talking to someone else about it. Yeah. <laughs> what were you laughing about? Um, I, we Shape? Were, well, yes, I think people were. We were feeling sorry for people that had, yeah, you know. Men with small ones. Well, odd ones. Shaped ones. Yeah, there are some odd shapes. Right, I think we should get off so this why? topic. No, I just thought it was quite funny. Right. <laughs> uh, Lee said he's not feeling so great. He went to a gig afterwards. Yeah, you God. did, didn't you? What else no, did no, you have? Afterwards. Did oh, you have... I know what we're doing oh, with this goodness. now. Did you have a Bloody Mary, Lee? Oh, hang on. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, hang on. Let's just listen to the sound. That's, That's good, good, isn't gorgeous. it? Gorgeous. Right, now you've got to toss it in your popcorn. <laughs> you would say that. <laughs> okay, and turn it out on a tray. Okay, is that hot, hot? Oh, God. Sorry. You can put it on this. On this. Well, don't you can put, put it, it onto the um, tray. She just said pop it in there. Mix it all up. Yeah. And then you can put it, you can put it can in there. Why do you keep pointing at that and I'm putting it in Dina here? I'm she doesn't need to look for another tray. Oh, I say. I might quite like. Oh, look. Oh, yeah. hang on. Oh, no, don't stir those in. Oh, no. What's that? Just they keep it up the top. So many unpot ones. Why didn't they pop? Because, because you did it stupidly. Yeah. Just oh. right, spread it out onto the tray now. I don't, should, don't stir in there. I should have done it onto the tray, really. No, I? I should have put the oh, mask. That's lovely. Okay, leave it at that because you're going to get all no, those holes. No, no, so it's not, fine. Not, no, no. You don't want those holes. No, I know you don't. I'm, so you could have, it could have been a rocky, kind of rocky road. Yes. So you could chuck other things in there now, couldn't you? You could, in fact, chuck, you could pimp this up with loads of other... There's a wonderful moment in the film Whiplash where the dad and the son, I love this, the dad chucks in a load of, sprinkles a load of M&Ms or something into the popcorn. And uh, it's a thing that whenever us, me and Maddie used to go, she goes, oh, Dad, should we just sprinkle? And so I always yeah, chuck a little... I love that, don't yeah, yeah, I love that. So you could so do that with this. Spread it out before it all gets stuck, because then it. it will be more difficult. There you go. What is it? It's marshmallow popcorn rocky roundy. Oh, that'll be it. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> don't wait anymore, because you're going to get so many... I'm not. I'm, I'm making sure... I'm, I'm impressed. Stop. I'm stop. That's enough. Well, what are you doing more for? Because the girls might like it later. My mum will love this. So Your mum will be in the dentist for a year. That's true. <laughs> mum, don't eat any of it. Okay, we're done. No, Goodbye. No, just did, uh, that's a lot. <laughs> Give us a spoon. I just want to like break it up a bit so we can get the finished dish. I just, just did a little breakfast thing for Dad as well. All right, so tell yeah. Mark about that while I do this. So these potato files, I believe, are something you have in yeah, Ireland for breakfast. And this is, as I said, how my dad would have it. With zata, some olive oil, um, cream cheese, cucumber... Um, this is a via life, and that is delicious. Just dipped in that, that, that. Mm -mm -mm. That's oh, breakfast. My God. <laughs> Try that. 
Do you know what I think it I'm needs? Right, I'm not a fan of a bit, thing, well, you know what would be really it. nice with it? I was going to say some salt. All right, you do. I was going to say that. Mm. Crunchy salt. I think it yeah. needs salt. Not loads. Don't go No, no I'm not going to say I'm not going to. Just a sprinkle. Let me just do this end here. Can I try some? Yeah. I, I mean, now, it needs to set, but you can try it. Bearing in mind, I'm, you not, don't get one of those I'm not a fan of either of them. That's nice. It's really nice. Oh, my God. That's going to make it to the ground, baby. It's almost a bit butter, uh, butter kiss, butter kiss, rah, rah, rah. It's really nice. Yeah, yeah. And, of course, another very American thing is... Oh, my God. Oh, babe, what have you started? No, it's not good. That's the first thing when you go. Dear me. First thing when you go. So is that it? I'd never do that usually, but let's, let's do a donk. What, um, um, not near the rubbish. Come away from the rubbish. <laughs> well... What are you going to do? Who rate for Hollywood? That donut's not tasty. Isn't it? What's not tasty? I think we should do red carpet walk. Oh yes, sachet. Well, let's do red carpet photographs. But uh, photograph with uh, with two actresses that are like and uh, are like are, are, are worshiping each other because we love each other. Over here, Nadia, Nadia, over here on the left. Give me one. Over here, Nad, Dina, Dina. Over here, smile. Push it. Push it. Nad, give us one. Anything. <laughs> I want one. <laughs>